What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Fossil Finders episode 31. If you missed this past Tuesday's episode, definitely go back and watch it. Um, otherwise, the, the main screen over there is probably a, 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 a big spoiler for what happened. Uh, but we are now a master fighter. Uh, the master mask has been sent to the mask salon. Uh, what is the master mask? We'll have to go check that out. Today's Viviosaur Tribune, Friggy vs. Ego, the ultimate showdown. Ultimate destiny, good guys, bad guys, and explosions. Um, I think I made that same joke last time. I think we already read this, right? And I made that same joke. <laughs> I probably did. Oh, I probably did. Uh, cause I just reused the same jokes over and over. I'm assuming we'll get stopped by someone after we exit the building. Yep, there we go. Oh, it's Rosie. Oh, Wiz, perfect timing! You know those idols that the BB Bandits were after? <laughs> Turns out they do have a hidden secret. They're not just old statues, there's advanced technology inside that no one's ever seen before. Dr. Diggins has them over in the secret lab now doing some testing. Hey, let's go see what's going on. We might even find out more about Duna and uh, what she's all about. Secret lab's over in the basement of the Richmond building. Uh, let's go. All right, solid, solid, solid. Let's actually let's let's do that, Rosie. But before we do, um, I I first want to stop by the uh, the fossil guild here. I'd see what the master mask is. It was a mask. It was a master mask. That's the master mask. It was a graveyard mask. My my, you're looking good. Time to face the world. Good luck out there. Rosie, do you still love me? I hate it. 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 Oh, actually, um, as I as I yawn there, perfect timing. Let's go to the Richmond building. Um, has anyone broken out? Okay, can I talk to you guys? Uh, please, proud to serve. I'd actually like to be out on patrol on an actual day like this, but I've got a guard duty here. In the meantime, would you please tell me wonderful stories about the outside world? Please, wow, dude, outside world, I'm sure you get off at some point. Um, the guy behind the uh, door traded slogans with me. He's a good guy. And can I, can I talk to you? Wiz, I can't believe I have to tell you this, but Blam Blue has escaped again! I have no idea what happened. There he was, and I turned around and he was gone! You should find him in his favorite outfit, green hat and brown clothes. Sorry to ask, but if you can catch him, we'd be really, really grateful. Uh, well, whether you're looking for him or not, I'm sure Blam Blue is gunning for you, Wiz, so watch out. And he does have a gun. So he probably is gunning for us. So we might look into that today as well, but let's head over to the Richmond building um, and head to the sea. Hello? Hi there, can we help you? Ah! What is that? An aardvok? A beaver with a tail injury? A gerbil that's been... <laughs> it's, it, it's a gerbil, yep. It's that one. <laughs> Wait a, a second. You carry around dinosaurs in your pocket, and you're afraid of this? You carry a liter literal dinosaurs in your pocket. Literal dinosaurs. Oh, with mice that big running around, what in the world has cleaning lady been doing in her time? Oh, hey, get that silver spoon out of your mouth real fast, and uh, you know, let's move on. Can I take back asking if I hate you or not? Because I do now. Wait, the cleaning lady's usually here by now. Where is she? Hey, look. Oh, the tree's blocking the entrance to the secret lab or let's Hey guys, secret lab's open. We, we cleared out the trees. Secret lab's open. Uh, yeah, secret. It's, it's a, it, well, it was a secret. It's, it's not a secret anymore because I, I told you we moved the trees. But the secret lab, it's open. If, do you, la yeah, later, later, later. You, la later, yeah, that's fine. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Guard. The, the beam. Squeak. The bean. Squeak. Hey, get a hold of yourself, man! Oh, secret lab. Underground. Oh, what about the underground secret lab? The beam. Squeak. Um, oh. Okay, this guy's pretty much useless. Oh, uh, well, Wiz, let's just head on down to the secret underground lab. Yeah, okay, let's, let's do that. 
Let's, uh, yeah. That does look like the door to a secret underground lab. You're not wrong. Oh, huh. Huh, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Duna, what are, you, what are you doing, Duna? Duna, what you doing? Uh, Duna! Oh, Rosie, uh, Wiz. <laughs> hmm. Hello, humans. My name is Rapton. I have taken the liberty of letting myself in. Thank you. Uh, hey, this is private property. What are you doing here? Explain yourselves. Ah, how to explain in such a way that you'll understand. We are Dinorians, a superior life form. First, I should thank you for collecting all the sub-idle comps for us. Clearly, we should have hired you from the beginning instead of that useless Bullworth. Um, hired us? Wait! Wait, you hired the BB Bandits to look for those tacky idols? I'm glad, I'm glad we got that zoom in. Yes, the sub-idol comps, actually. We require them to make some adjustments to an experiment. This experiment, you might be interested in knowing, <laughs> involves wiping humans off the face of the Earth. Whoa, s slow down. You can't possibly have said what I thought you said. I assure you I did, and I meant it. I suggest finding some way to occupy yourselves until your time comes. Uh, for example, you could practice scaring around on all fours. Oh, the beam. Oh, so that wasn't a, uh, a person. Was that Mr. Richmond? A squeak, squeak, squeak. Ha, ah, interesting. Did the beam actually work? I have such trouble telling one mammal from another. <laughs> Oh, stop it, stop it. Do not bite me, you filthy little beast. Uh, so primitive and brutish. Uh, now, uh, you're next. Uh, Raptin, uh, we have the idol comps. Let's hurry and get back to the ship. J uh, just leave him alone. Get out of the way, Duna, unless you'd care to revisit some earlier branches of the family tree. Uh, take this. It's my, it's my sick mask that protected me. Hmm, must be out of power. Oh well, it should at least keep him knocked out for a while. So they brother and sister then. So Duna, shall we return to the ship? Oh, where is my teleporter? It must have fallen off my neck somewhere. Uh, Duna, let me use your teleporter. Do you not? I will go first. Do you not want to teleport her out? Wiz, Rosie, I'm I'm so sorry. Okay, it's just an open teleport. I mean, we're for sure unconscious and we can't understand you. Squeak, 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 squeak. And that's the end of Fossil Fighters. We're dead now. I'm just kidding. She somehow carried me to her room? Both weird and awkward. I can't decide which one of us looks stupider. Her wearing a hat or me wearing some human. I mean... I'm not really a dinosaur. Uh, Diggins, uh, who are those two on the security camera? And what do you mean by... What do they mean by uh, Dinoarians? Uh, dino- hmm, uh, could that be the humanoids that somehow evolved from dinosaurs? Uh, very interesting, this is all speculation of course. Uh, one thing for sure, these dinosaurians have technology far beyond ours. Uh, better than yours, Diggins, that is impressive. Mr. Richmond, do you think they might have something to do with the secret site? So it wasn't Richmond who was turned into that, just must- oh, that was the- that was the cleaning lady. That's why she was chasing Rosie, cause Rosie was being a dick to, you know, the person who's hired and paid to clean, uh, and Rosie treated her like less than a human, so. And coincidentally enough, she was turned into something less than a human. That's, I think, the real thing we should learn from this. Just because people do a job that uh, seems smaller than most, uh, they're still probably making more money than you. Oh, Wiz, you're awake! 
We saw what happened in the secret laboratory. It was recorded on the security cameras. I'm sorry you had to go through that, son. Uh, it's Rosie, though, whom I'm really worried about. What have they done to her? Made her less of a dick? <laughs> there, there, Rosie. I wish I could make you feel better. Oh, mice like she- it's not, Oh, it's not a mouse! It's a dinosaur! It's clearly a dinosaur! It's clearly a dinosaur and not a mouse! Why do you assume it's a mouse? Thank you, Dr. Diggins! She was turned into a trichodonta, a a, tri a trichonodonta, a trico. What's a what's that? It's a, they were ancient creatures that were prede predecessors to some modern mammals. The ray that hit Rosie must have somehow revert creatures to their earlier evolutionary forms. Put another way, it alters your DNA to match that of your most ancient ancestors. That's utterly terrifying. What a devastating weapon! Yo, wait a second. If it matches the DNA. Can we assume here that the cleaning lady is Rosie's mother, because they look the same? That's what we're going with here. Yes, yeah, so we'll have that dinos being threat to wipe humans off the face of the Earth seriously. I only wish we knew more about them, if only to understand their motivations better. Hey, one of them made out with me. I mean, kissed me. Uh, Rosie gave you an odd-looking pendant. From where? Where did she produce it from? What is this thing? Could this belong to the Dinarians? Oh yes, that's it! Rosie must have taken it when she bit that Dinarian man! Good girl, Rosie. What to keep your head up in a crisis? Oh, there's a switch on it. Hmm. Looks like it's some sort of a... Oh, it's his teleportation device. Now, Diggins, don't you go pressing buttons. We don't know what that could turn people into. Don't worry, I'm not that careless. <laughs> Achoo! Clicks it. Oh darn, I accidentally pressed it. He didn't even need to sneeze, that was just a joke. He was like, hmm, I, uh, I really, I really kind of want to press this button. I'm, I'm not gonna... Oh, shoot! I was supposed to turn the light off when I did that bit, but it didn't work. <laughs> Ugh. Ah! We're on the Starship Enterprise? Captain's Log? Star date. I actually don't know the star date. So I seem to have misplaced my calendar. Today is the 14th day that we have been uh, adrifted here and over the planet Earth. Oh, what just happened? Where are we? Oh, I don't believe it. Look out the window. We're in space and presumably aboard a spaceship. I'm glad I brought my sick mask. So this pendant is some sort of teleportation device then. Fascinating. But wait, this spaceship is this the Dinoyurian base and where in the galaxy is it? Is there a sign maybe that says Maybe there's just like a sign up on the wall. Uh, now exiting now exiting the the Milky Way um, last exit for 150 light years. Uh, hey guys, looks like you forgot to turn off your disguises. Uh, you know the rules, holographic disguises must be turned off inside the mothership. Or is there some other reasons you look like humans? Mm. Like, are you actually real humans listening to more somehow? <laughs> I kid, I kid. Uh, what are the odds that real humans can get here to orbit? <laughs> anyway, shut off the holographic device, okay? Shut it, shut it off. They don't, I, I am a dinosaur, don't you see my dinosaur head? Whew, that was close. We can't stay here looking like this. Let's get back to Earth. I'll stay here, though. I look like a dinosaur. I clearly look like a dinosaur. I could have stayed. Diggins, Riz! Don't scare me like that. You just melted away in front of me. What happened? You won't believe this, but we were teleported to a spaceship. Apparently the Dinarian mothership. We need to go back. That spaceship is our key to finding out more about them. But we're going to need disguises. Some way to avoid looking too... Uh, human. Hmm, I think I have an idea. I don't know how strange this sense of honor will allow this, but you could ask Sawhead for his mask. Well, it is an extremely high-quality mask. That might do the trick. I already have a high-quality mask. 
Wiz, I want you to go over to the Fossil Stadium and ask the if you can borrow his mask. I'll be in the Fossil Stadium running some tests on this device. Come meet me as soon as- I mean, I have, I have a sick mask. My mask is sick. It's sick. Infected with where you live. It's so sick. Alright, let's head over to the- I know Bland Blue's out there somewhere. Uh, oh no, we don't wearing info. We gotta go to the Fossil Stadium first. I know Bland Blue's out there somewhere for us to find. Uh, but I, I feel like today is gonna be very plot heavy. Roar! Richmond told me to expect a visit from you. He says you need to borrow a mask. Do you realize what you're asking? You might as well ask to borrow my face. Most people who ask sore head for a favor like that would get a world of pain for their trouble. For a master fighter like you, I might make an exception. But I just can't hand it over. You're going to have to earn it, boy! You have to face off against 15 of my video source, five straight battles. If you survive until the end of the sudden death match, I'll give you the mask. Well, yeah, sure, let's do it. Alright, shoot. Oh man, did you hear that? Sered is gonna battle and put his mask on the line. Yeah, and a sudden death match. I don't know what that means, but it sounds exciting. Roy, are you ready now to end a sudden death match? Sure, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's do it right out here, right here in the lobby. Even though like ten feet over there, there's like actually a place to fight. So he's using just straight up um, neutral types. Okay. Um, Gon's amazing though for the addition of just straight up, uh, straight up making us a very heavy attacker is making a lot of damage happen. Uh, so we have to do five straight battles. Um, I don't know if that means uh, we're going to have. Like, if our health is going to stay the same, or if we get healed in between. I'm hoping we get healed in between. I, I I can't imagine we don't, because that would be very difficult to beat five battles without, um, without healing. And this. Pokemon, it's different when they make you do it for, like, the Elite Four, because you have healing items. We don't have any healing items. Although they aren't doing a lot of damage to us right now. We are asleep, though, which kind of sucks. Um, so I can't really do anything. Um, let's go ahead and just raise his evasion. Go ahead and make it a little faster in the turn. Pass it back to Sorehead. I can't imagine his first team is going to be too heavy. They missed. Perfect. Knockout Cry did one damage. And we're still asleep. Solid. I, I, wanna, I was hoping to use Quicken to keep myself from being put to sleep. Miss, power scale, distracting cry. Okay, good. We're actually in this game. We can actually do some stuff now. Let's go for a spin X combo here on Neo. They haven't started doing a lot of damage to us yet. They've mostly just been attacking from the back. 130 in that. Uh, 195. Yo, barely alive. Um, uh, let's have Gone do long things. Let's have Gone do long things here. Kill you, um, and we'll actually s we'll, we'll we'll hold our hand. Evasion, no. Actually, shoot, I should I should add Venator use evasion again. That was actually really dumb for to, to not make Venator use, put evasion up. There is really no reason not to put uh, evasion up there. Spin X. Uh, just go for the spin X combo here. Yeah, that was kind of dumb of me. Um, nothing else we can do yet, well, because he stole all of our stuff. 63 points of damage. Knockout cry, one point of damage, and he puts us to sleep. Um, and because he's asleep, I can't even have him move. Uh, we'll have him quicken. And then we are actually going to have Gon do, uh, their combo attack. Uh, just to make sure he does enough damage to kill here, since we're attacking from the side. 11 points, 15 points, that should be enough. Yeah. I think he had, like, less than 20, but I wasn't sure how much. Uh, I'm going to end the turn there. I can't imagine he's going to steal my last FP, and if so, we do have Quicken up on Spinax. So if he attacks Spinax, at least, Spinax should possibly uh, avoid it. No, it takes three damage. Shoot. And he stole my FP. Really hoping that wouldn't happen. It's fine. We do have enough to get off the Spinax combo here. So we'll take the combo. 76, 151. Yo, all right, sick. Do we just immediately go into the second fight? 
don't get too comfortable just because you win your first battle. Things won't be easy in the second battle. Uh, yeah, we do actually full heal and we actually can change our people. Um, so we're going up against waters here. Water is most effective uh, to fire. Obviously, that is how that works. But I just want to see who's most where air is most effective to water. Uh, so Spinax is actually going to be the strongest against them. <clears throat> we'll get a bit of a speed going here, just because I don't want this video to be too, 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 too long, especially when we have another three battles. Four battles total, including this one, which just started. Uh, so I am going to make use of the speed up button just a little bit for your benefit, so that way you aren't sitting here all day watching me play this game, which I'm sure some of you might be okay with. Uh, but it, 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 you know, I don't, I don't want to do too much to you here. Toxic Spear, seven damage to us. Uh, especially for this battle right here, where I think this is going to be straight one shots across the board. We did two over 200 damage. We did over 200 damage there. That's insane. Give me enough to do a... Yeah, we're just going to go for a Cyclone here. Watch how much damage Cyclone does. 344 damage. Wow. Wow. Consider the battles up until. Now practice. For the third battle, you'll really need to show me what you're made of. Show me what you got, what you really, really got. Whatcha, 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 whatcha really, 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 really. So these are all Earth. So these are all super effective to air. So these are all super effective to Spinax. Uh, but but we're still going to stick with Spinax. Actually, we should probably sort of switch to Venator. Uh, also, he didn't explicitly say that if we, if we lose one fight, if we lose one Vivasaur, it's over. I don't think we have that going for us here. <clears throat> and our attack still up, we have uh, defense down by 10, and we have speed up by 10. Um, so we're actually just going to start with a Spinax combo. No reason not to. See what happens. 54, 107. Not enough to kill, but that does get rather, rather, rather close. So I'll, I'll, I'll live with it. Earthen Blast. How much damage does this do? Only 82 points of damage. 41 to Venator. And 56 to go on. So that actually hits everyone. That's actually a pretty pretty great attack. It hits everyone like that. Um, we're going to go for a, another Spinax combo. Just to make sure we do enough damage to kill. 50 points, 98. That's obviously enough. Because there's really no reason not to. Uh, and we are going to give Quicken to Gon. Because uh, they're, they're, Gon's getting low on health. So to give them some evasion in case they try to attack them. That way Gon gets to move around away from the attacks. Uh, they do actually go for an attack on Gon. Um, his evasion, he does not evade it. And he takes all three hits there for a total of 39 points of damage. Don't know what she were doing there. Because you were supposed to, you're supposed to avoid that. You're supposed to avoid that. That's why I gave you Quicken. To avoid it. 56 points, 110 points, so a total of 166. Not enough to kill, but it does get close. So we... Evasion's no longer up here. They're up to 390 FP. They go for Acro... Uh, uh, Acro Fury. Uh, Gone might be dead here. 9, 12, 13. Okay, I actually didn't do as much as I was thinking it was. I was assuming that would do a lot more damage. He actually switches out. He's gonna go for Iron Ram onto Gon Gon's dead. Yeah. Which means we lose our attack bonus, which sucks. Because our attack bonus we desperately needed. Uh, what we're gonna do here, though, is we actually have enough here. We actually have enough to go for a Cyclone and then Venator's attack. Um, how much health do you have, actually? You have 15 health. You have 15 health. I was going to do that, but then I realized I could just do this. Um, and then we could do a big attack here. Yeah, we're fine, actually. We're fine. <clears throat> even on the one where you had the upper hand. I'm surprised you made it this far. Get ready for an even tougher battle in the fourth. Um, so he's using all air. Um, Earth is most effective here, which we do have Venator for. Uh, so should we need to, Venator can roll right out. Uh, they're most effective to water types, uh, which we aren't using at all. <clears throat> so we actually don't have anything to really be too afraid about here. Um, 180 is going to go for Windstorm on to all of us here. 38 to Spinax, 20 to Venator, and 33 gone. <clears throat> 
Um, we have got 180 for our start, so we're just gonna go for a spin X combo onto Kentro to, uh, to kill. Is this gonna be another where we one-shot everyone? If this is gonna be another one where we one-shot everyone. Uh, Sakyo Fury, 5, 15 for a total of 30 damage. Uh, Popular Rush for a total of 24 damage. Uh, we are gonna hit him with a spin X combo. No, we missed! Oh, shoot. Okay. Um, uh, Venator Bite? Just to get some damage on him this turn. Another Stack of Fury, 6, 15, 31 points. Fist Jab. They aren't doing a lot of damage to us, which is why I'm just kind of skipping around here. Uh, can you flee? Alright, go ahead and flee. Let's at least have Venator get a Venator combo off. Kill you. Cool. That's why I was, I was like, if Spinax can't do it right now, we'll just have Spinax back off. And uh, let Venator finish him off here. Especially now Venator has the bonus to attack. This should be an easy kill. Yeah. Sorehead, you aren't as scary anymore. You aren't as scary anymore. I guess that's why you made Master Fighter. Just remember I was there first, Junior. Now for my very best. So he's claiming this is his very best Venet uh, set of Viviosaur. So he's got two fires. Um, and one of them being a T-Rex. Gorgo, Tarbo, and T-Rex. Are these the three that you can choose from in the beginning? Terrifyingly fast for something so big. Initially slow developed, Tarbo becomes extremely powerful after rank 9, gaining first rate attack. Uh, while the most powerful of all attack class, Viviosaurus T-Rex cannot be placed in the safe zone without severely hindering allies' abilities. Okay, so I think we need to focus on the T-Rex, maybe. I really want to get my T-Rex as soon as I can, and T-Rex is actually in the in the first position here, which is really, really good for us. Um, and, i.e. we can attack it first, but he also is going to go Tyrant's Roar. Let's see how scary this thing is. Onto, uh, onto Spinax, 19 damage, Venator, 11 damage, and 24 damage to go on. Uh, Tarbo Bite going to go for Spinax. For a critical hit of seven. Um, I'm actually I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not I'm afraid right now. We do over two, almost 200 damage, 201 damage to the T-Rex. So the T-Rex only has about 240 HP. 245 is what it's looking like from that bar with what's left. I think this is an easy, this is an easy win. We're almost, we're hitting, we're getting close to that 30 minute mark of the video. Um, so we, we're wrap, wrap up after he after we obviously win here. Um, he had 270 HP. He has 69 nice HP left. And we kill him. Bye bye, T-Rex. Alright, go for your attack, buddy. Your support effects aren't that great. Nightmare combo onto Gone. Yeah, Gone needs to be their first target because Gone gives me a big boost to my attack power. So Gone absolutely needs to be these people's first and foremost, like, we have to kill you. Because otherwise, you are giving me too much power. Like that. Where I one-shot you. Cyclone. Nope. Not enough. Sorry about it, buddy. Bye. 233 in one shot. Wiz wins. What a victory. Uh, Venator LP increased by 18. Guan's by 5. Electro is by 6. V Raptor by 11. So that's what it's like to put everything into a battle and still lose. I don't say this very often. I'm impressed. Five matches in a row against me. Good work. I'm a fighter of my word, so here's my mask right off my head. Use it well. Who's he gonna- are, are we gonna see someone we've seen before? I don't- like, the body type doesn't match anyone we've seen before, though. We're finally gonna see the true face of Sora- it's gonna be another mask, isn't it? It's gonna be another mask. Here, you earned it. Roar! You got the Sora mask. Yeah, it's just another one. Under the mask is a, another mask? Yeah, I saw that coming. You need a mask for Dr. Diggins, too. Uh, that's fair. You pulled out a pretty spectacular victory. So here's another mask. Sure, it's gonna take off his mask again! His other mask! And he's gonna have another mask on under it. This time, we'll really see Sorehead's true face. How can he even see out of this many masks being on his face? You got another Sorehead mask. <laughs> yeah, he's still wearing it. Of course he is. Huh? What's going on? 
<laughs> I wear about 30 masks at a time. Roar. That's gotta be very, very warm. That's gotta be incredibly warm on your head, my dude. Storehead's the best. It must be super hot and uncomfortable in all those masks, but he still does it. And you're not seeing Sorehead's face, but, but, but for learning some trivia about him. Yeah! Okay, however you need to see it. <laughs> Whatever you need to tell yourself to sleep at night. That is where we're going to go ahead and actually wrap things up for today, because I don't want this episode getting too out of hand long. So next time, we will head over to the Fossil Center and meet up with Dr. Diggins uh, to, I guess, put on these masks. And I have, we need to get more of a disguise, though. Uh, maybe change the shirts we're wearing? I don't know, something. But I guess we'll figure that all out next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I, I think, I don't think I have any other questions. If you, if you didn't answer my questions from last episode, please do. My main one being, where can I get that sick, sick T-Rex from? Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.